so hi friends this video is uh, made for some basic concept of the thermodynamics so i am happy to share this my video on the thermodynamics thermodynamics the is a branch of the physics which gives the conversion of the heat energy into the other form of the energy that may be the electrical or mechanical energy and vice versa thermodynamic is the words consisting of the thermo plus dynamics thermo means the heat and a dynamics means nothing but the science of the motion or the transfer of the energy Thermodynamics is used in many branches such as the chemistry, engineering. In a chemistry, we can use for the such as a chemical reaction, and in engineering, it is used for as an efficiency and working of the engine. Thermodynamics we can be study in a different way. So there are the basically two way we can be study. First is the microscopic behavior of the system we study. Another is the microscopic behavior of the system we study. When you consider the study of the thermodynamic system in a microscopic behavior, in this we consider the variables which are used to explain the concept of the system is at the human scale. And uh, in a microscopic variable, the variable which are used to explain the microscopic behavior of the thermodynamic system is at the molecular scale. So consider there is a two systems. One is the classical thermodynamics branch, and another is the statistical thermodynamic branch. So according to the basic concept, how to explain the thermodynamic, how to study the thermodynamic system, so in a classical thermodynamic system, you can use the uh, microscopic behavior of the system. And when you go for the microscopic behavior of the system, it is belongs to the statistical thermodynamics. And if you consider in a statistical thermodynamics, we can be considered atoms and molecules it's a position in your system and when you consider in classical thermodynamics there is not would not be considered atoms and molecule of the uh, system so when you consider there are the three systems are present in uh, basically in thermodynamics that is uh, first we consider what is mean by the system a system is nothing but one of the portion of the matter under the consideration which is bounded by the one of the closed surface and the surrounding is nothing but anything outside the system which can exchange the energy or matter with it. So this is known as system. Now system is uh, classified into the three. One is the open system, isolated system and closed system. When you consider the open system, open system system in which there is a both exchange of the energy and matter with the surrounding, that system is called as open system. And the system which cannot exchange the energy and matter with the surrounding, that system is called as isolated system. And the system in which there is an exchange of the energy not a matter, that system is called as a closed system. So thermodynamic system is uh, nothing but change of the any type occur in a system by the exchange the heat with the surrounding, that system is called as a thermodynamics. When we consider, when you say that a system is a thermodynamics, we can we say the system is thermodynamics only when if there is a change of the any type of occurring system by exchange of the heat to the surrounding. Now the state of the thermodynamic systems can be described by the measurable variable like the pressure, volume and temperature and entropy. Then what is the meaning of thermodynamics variables? So variable which are used to describe the state of the thermodynamic system that is known as thermodynamics variable. 
what is meant with what is mean by the change of the state so any one of the coordinate of the changes spontaneously or due to the external influence then there is a change of the state so you can consider any one of the variable any one of the thermodynamic variable is changed and then there must be change the state of the work thermodynamic system now we consider what is mean by the thermodynamic equilibrium so it is a natural tendency to attain the state at which the thermodynamic variable remains the same at all point does not vary with the time in inverse every system try to be stays you know stable so thermodynamic variable always try to remain same at all point does not vary with time then it is called a thermodynamic if you want to the system is in a thermodynamic equilibrium there are the three conditions required to the system equilibrium first is the a thermal equilibrium it is related to temperature temperature should be uniform the throughout the system and identical with the surrounding then we say the system is thermal equilibrium second is the chemical equilibrium internal structure and chemical composition of the system should be remains fixed then in the system is called equilibrium so should be remember important chemical composition of the system and internal structure of system must be same next is the mechanical equilibrium so force exerted by the system are uniform throughout the system and balanced by surrounding system then system is known as a mechanical equilibrium so should we remember these are the three equilibrium if the system follow the three equilibrium then and then system is said to be the thermodynamics equilibrium so next is the there are the changes is an occur so basically consider there is the isothermal change and adiabatic change the change in the thermodynamics variable take place at a constant temperature that change is called as isothermal change. and if the system change in the thermodynamics variable take place at a constant heat there is no exchange of heat then systems change is called as a adiabatic change in a isothermal change there is a temperature remains constant by supplying the heat to the system or taken out the heat from the system so change in internal energy is a zero in isothermal change in case of the adiabatic change there is heat remains constant by increasing or decreasing the temperature that is means change in heat of the system is zero because there is no exchange of heat around it so first law thermodynamics gives the dq is equal to pdu is equal to dw because du is equal to zero so it is equal to this so heat is added or subtracted must be equal to the external work done by our own system if you consider first law thermodynamics dq is zero so dq is equal to du plus dw so du is equal to minus dw so increase or decrease in internal energy must be equal to the external work done by our own system so can be consider there is a system suppose there is a gas compressed slowly then produce the heat is removed and temperature remains constant for the iso that is this is a condition if you want the system is an isothermal it should be the your system is compressed very slowly so there is a too much time to be produce the heat removed so temperature remains constant and if gas compressed suddenly then there is a temperature increases but heat is remains constant so this is known as a adiabatic change 